Hi, I'm Dr. Kevin Sack. I'm a neuro and spine surgeon in Pantai Hospital, KL. You want to hear what they have to say and then decide uh, where the problem is. Problem, in my case, I need to figure out whether the problem is in the brain or in the spine. So depending on the story that you tell me, I will kind of localize it to a certain uh, region and uh, I probably would have a good idea where the problem is and then you order the corresponding scan and uh, based on the results of the scan then we will discuss what treatment you need uh, what can be done, what are the options, whether you can not do anything I'm Nabila and I had benign tumour on my left brain and I had tuberculosis in my brain It was a very long journey for me because along the way, all of the hospital can't really tell until uh, my mom had a like their in instinct, I guess. And then she met, we met Dr. Kevin, and then that's when he could tell like this is a tumor, so this needs to be removed. You have to ask yourself the question, what's the risk of not doing anything? People rarely think about it that way. But if you don't do it, it's just going to get bigger and your symptoms are going to get worse. And sometimes it reaches a point uh, that what could have been cured is just not curable anymore. I always tell the patients, you know, don't wait until you've gone down and I need to go down and get you before you do something because it's much easier to preempt the problem than to wait for it to happen and then try to get better. It felt really easy to make the decision with him because he gave me that confidence, not just to me, to my mom. Because before this, she didn't even agree to do any biopsy or anything. Maybe, you know, if I prolong this, it could have gotten worse. Meeting him was like a miracle. It's a good complementary treatment. You don't need to aggressively go after every last bit. If there's a little bit left stuck on a blood vessel or stuck on a nerve, you don't need to go and try to take it off. The difficult thing is not in the technical aspects, it's dealing with expectation. People nowadays, you know, they are like, oh, you know, since you've done it already, you should have fixed all the problems. No, it's not. You're trying to limit damage. You're not trying to fix the damage that has been done. It was such a relief that I put my trust in him and he delivered a good job. Everything was smooth in terms of that. No complications or anything, Alhamdulillah. I'm so grateful and thankful. You can do the most fantastic surgery, but after, after surgery care is no good, then the outcome is no good either. They have supported me in terms of uh, mentally. The nurses here also was very helpful. They really took care of me. I need to regain my strength and my confidence, regain my fine motor skills. Everything I need to relearn everything like a baby. Even though you're, you feel like you're not doing enough, but you're doing so much already, and I feel like. I feel like you need to be really, really grateful, especially for the little things that we seem so little, but it's not little at all. Life is really beautiful. You just need to less on the complaining and just live, just see it. Life is beautiful and everything will be beautiful. <laughs>